Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this video is another science lecture um, about Andrew Zarkis, uh, the fake, the fake creature that never lived. Scam. So uh, that's the title. Um, and this is a picture of it here. Um, and a lot of you may not know about this animal, but uh, <clears throat> supposedly it lived during the uh, uh, Eocene epoch, uh, 45 to 35 million years ago, discovered by uh, Roy Chapman Andrews. That's where the Andrews comes in, in the name. But uh, in any event, um, as you can see by looking at it, um, you know, it's essentially a, uh, you know, as you can see here, it's essentially a, uh, like a giant wolf, dog, uh, it's monstrous, uh, it supposedly had, had hooves for feet, um, and it hung around the beach a lot, uh, that's the assumption, because, uh, the whole scam and, f and fakery of this is that <clears throat> what they're trying to, p to pull on everybody here is this is, uh, a way for evolutionists to explain whale evolution. Um, yes, as, as this is the beginning of whale evolution. Um, and one thing they don't uh, they don't know how to explain using uh, using evolution. Pardon me. They don't know how to explain using evolution. Um, you know how they know how they they think they know how mammals became, you know, that they, that they came from the sea, but then they can't explain why they went back to the sea. So, um, yeah, here's another sort of, I mean, they don't really know what, what this thing looked like because, you know, frankly, it didn't exist. But, uh, you know, as you can see, I, I don't know which version you prefer here. Um, here's another version of it. Uh, so you can see that better anyway but here's another version of it anyway um and you can see this is pictured by the ocean um and like i said they had to they had to show it by the ocean because uh you know a house would have become a whale you know what i mean so obviously it must have roamed around the beaches but uh it's an animal this size uh, i don't i don't know what, what it was going to eat i guess seaweed i mean i don't know what it was going to eat so i you know i don't know what it found on the beach it, not a lot of animals would hang around by salt water so i, I would assume that you know they're not going to drink salt water so they're going to be more inland just like every other animal but uh you know like i said they don't know what to do with this concoction so you know they're using this thing as a, as a, a sort of a missing link between uh, sea life becoming land life and then going back to the sea again. That's why we have mammals in the ocean now because, uh, you know, they've kind of boxed themselves into a corner with uh, evolution. So, but uh, I have my doubts that uh, this animal existed at all. Um, here's a, uh, an example of what I'm talking about. This is, uh, this is the only fossil remains that they have of this animal. And uh, I'm going to point out something real quick here. Um, there's something wrong with this fossil. And, um, you know, it's pretty clear to me. I've looked at this thing a hundred times. And it's pretty clear that this is not a new species, that this is an intelodont uh, that's been modified or conveniently broken in all the right places. Uh, and what I'm talking about is if, and this is the same skull, uh, it just the picture's a little bit uh, changed. But anyway, um, but the, the lines I drew in there, um, you know, these dark, uh, these dark lines here I drew, is pretty much where you would have the missing pieces of bone. And telodonts are known for their uh, cheek bone structure, which is missing here. But it can easily be put back, and I'll show you what I mean. Here's a, an intelodont. And let's just go back. You know, here's the intelodont that they all they all know is an intelodont, and you can even see part of it, part of the cheek, 
uh, uh, bone actually was busted off and re-glued on there. But uh, as you can see, um, you know, if you look at these, you can kind of see if you go back and forth here that it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, I don't see too much different um, going on with this. Uh, this is, oops, this is another Intellidont from another angle. You can see it has the same similar front teeth, the same, everything's the same until you get back to that very distinctive uh, cheek muscle or cheekbone, which held down uh, huge chunks of muscle. That's why that was there. Um, but yeah, and here's the Intellidon again, and then here's my uh, correction of the Andrew Zarkis uh, skull. So, and you can see some some's odd, especially uh, especially this part right here. I don't know if you can see this, but right here along here, this looks a little bit too flat, and I, I don't know about this. Something looks snapped off, cut off, and even the eye socket seems to be missing. So. And this is what they're claiming is the only fossil remain they have. So um, I don't know. I'm not seeing, you know, I can easily add in what's missing. Um, and this is just showing you the, uh, you know, the proposed uh, evolutionary lineage of uh, land animals that somehow trans transformed uh, into, you know, a sea animal and then became a whale and a other whale-like mammals. So uh, once again, this is the Andrew Zarkis skull, um, just a drawn-out version. And then here's that version earlier. And uh, here's where I would have, uh, <clears throat> I guess if I wanted to manipulate this, this is an Intellidont. I drew areas where uh, the Andrew Zarkis specimen seems to be missing these pieces. So um, if you draw, draw out, if you cut around those lines on the actual s skull, you would you wouldn't have anything that's any any different than than an Intellidont. And they're claiming that this is a uh, you know a different species. It's, you can kind of see it here. It's been like sheared away where the uh, muscle supporting bone was for its cheek and you know like I said the eye socket something seems to be shattered out right there so you can see what's missing um a whole structure right there so um and that's uh an intellidont which is uh I don't have any doubt intellidonts lived I mean uh, you know we have plenty of specimens of those and you can see that distinctive uh, cheek bone structure there um it's not too hard to imagine that just breaking off, to be honest with you, and uh, someone thinking it's a different species. So uh, that's a possibility. Here's another uh, Intellidont, which is this pig-like creature. Um, and once again, you can see, uh, you know, the uh, cheekbone uh, distinctive. And here's another view of it. Um, you can even see where it probably broke off the version they had of it right uh, right along here. There's a fine line right here. Looks like they had to fuse that back together. And uh, But, you know, like I said, if you did bust that off and you snapped it off um, and you didn't have the bottom jaw and maybe you shattered out the eye socket a little bit, then you would think you'd have a new species. Now, I don't know if they did this on purpose. This wouldn't be the first time that there was fraud committed to support evolution but uh yeah and then you know the other thing too is uh this whole idea that you know this creature is the ancestor of whales is kind of silly um like i said it's they don't really know what it looked like even if it did live this is just a speculation that it looked like this um and it they, they propose that hooves for feet and you know so it could gallop on the beach i guess like a horse um, I don't know what it was galloping after, you know, little turtles, seaweed. I mean, I don't know. But uh, <clears throat> it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Even if there was such thing as evolution, which we'll cover in other videos, uh, you know, how would this evolve to a whale? It, it doesn't really add up. I mean, the, the physiological changes this thing would have to go through would have left it a cripple. I mean, uh, whale, they're predominantly... Their locomotion for a whale is predominantly its its tail, 
and you know so basically this creature at some point would have to lose its back legs uh, change its hip structure uh, grow a longer tail that would have to become its chief form of locomotion and you know just it would just be a bizarre crippled creature laying on the beach that would have gotten eaten by everything else so i, I don't know how this would have happened i don't know it doesn't make any sense uh there's only that skull top to support it, and that, frankly, is not enough evidence. But they will slip this by you if you're not paying attention. And they'll include it, you know, in all their their lineups and drawings. They'll include it as fact. And uh, I don't know. I've, I've got doubts. I've got serious doubts that this thing ever lived. Uh, I just don't really see the logic. I don't see... Uh, I think there's another explanation for for whales and why there's mammals in the sea. Uh, yeah, here's the so-called uh, Andrew Zarkas skull again. But uh, yeah, there's all kind of I have I have alternate explanations for how mammals uh, ended up back in the ocean. And uh, you know, frankly, I, what I think probably happened, which is more likely, is that everything didn't start in the ocean, as evolutionists would tell you. But everything actually started on the land. All creatures started on the land. And then eventually, through another process, let's just say adaptation only, um, they were able to transition to the sea from there. But as far as evolution, um, there's, there's, no, there's no basis for this. Um, the skull seems to have been manipulated. And uh, I'm not buying it. Um, you can clearly see, once you add this correction, it's suddenly an entelodont. So, um, I don't know. You tell me what you think. Uh, leave comments, uh, any questions. But you can go look this up if you want, and you'll see what I mean. Thank you.